what is going on everybody and welcome back to another video today we have a replica i did build of jackson hole airport this is a new airport to the channel um i did paint over all a brand new board and got everything set up for this airport um jackson hole airport is located in the united states it is particularly located in jackson wyoming in 2019, it was the busiest airport in Wyoming by passenger traffic with about 500,000 passengers. During its peak seasons, which is the summer and winter, Jackson Hole has nonstop airline service up to 21 different destinations throughout the United States. The airport is served year round by Alaska, American, Delta, United, and is served seasonally by Allegiant, Sun Country, and Frontier Airlines. So let's dive straight into this replica of Jackson Hole. We're going to be starting off at the terminal gates. Jackson Hole does not have any jetways. It does have a terminal, but all of its quote unquote gates um, use the air stairs to get onto the aircraft, which is a very neat experience because Jackson Hole has beautiful scenery, so it is pretty awesome to board by the air stairs. But we will start off with this United Airbus A320 in the Stars and Bars Friendship livery. This aircraft just arrived in from Denver and will be heading out to Chicago O'Hare. It is currently loading on the passengers as well as getting serviced. United actually did use to operate the 757-200 to the airport about five, six years ago. But ever since they started retiring their 757s, they have not been operating it to Jackson Hole as much as they used to or rarely ever. But we'll do this aircraft right here, which is the United Express Embraer E-175. This aircraft is offloading the passengers as it just arrived in from Los Angeles. It will be loading on the passengers in about an hour and pushing back for the flight out to San Francisco. It is currently getting fueled up. This is a very exciting aircraft to see at Jackson Hole, which is the United 737-700 in the new livery with the split scimitar winglets on the aircraft. This will be heading out to Newark. Um, typically, they do use the 737-700 on the Newark flight, um, but yeah, this will be heading out to Newark. American does have a pretty big presence here at the airport. But here we do have the American Airbus A320, which does not fly to this airport, but we'll be using it as a Airbus A319. And it'll be heading out to Dallas, which is about a two and a half hour flight. Next up, we have this gorgeous American Airbus A319. This aircraft just pulled in to the gate as it arrived in from Chicago ORD. And it'll be heading back out to Chicago ORD in about 45 minutes. You can see it is offloading the passengers as well as offloading the baggage from the previous flight. Pushing back out of its gate, we do have the Alaska Embraer E-175 operated by SkyWest Airlines. Pushing back for a flight out to San Diego. Last winter is when Alaska did announce they will be doing seasonal flights to Jackson Hole, so this is a fairly new flight. Next up, after the Alaska aircraft, we have this Delta 737-800. It's currently loading on the baggage as well as the catering, and will be pushing back shortly for a flight out to Salt Lake City. Unfortunately, they do not fly the 737-800s to Jackson Hole, only the A319s. But I do not have a Airbus A319, so this will be operating for the A319. And then all the way in the back there, we do have a empty gate where the Delta 752 will be pulling into. Here is what the terminal I have put together looks like. You do have your basic block up here, but then kind of a viewing area up top. I do think it does look pretty good and suits this airport very well. Just to go into a little more detail, of course, we do have the gates over here. Um, and then this is the pull-off line to get de-iced. As you can see, we do have the aircraft getting de-iced right there. 
and this is the main taxiway that all of the aircrafts use for takeoff after they are already de-iced. And then over here we do have the private jet parking area as there is a ton of private jet action at Jackson Hole. Just getting ready to land on the runway, runway 1 to be exact. We do have this Delta 757-200 just getting ready to touch down and arrived in from Atlanta. Second in line for departure after the Delta aircraft lands is the United Express Embraer E-175 in the new livery. As I did mention, just getting ready to pull onto the runway to head out to Los Angeles. Third in line for departure, we have this private um, Boeing 737-800 without winglets. Just getting ready to pull on to the waiting threshold after the United Aircraft moves. And this will be heading out to Fort Lauderdale as a undisclosed company does own this aircraft. Just waiting on the de-icing pad, we do have the United 737-700. This aircraft will be getting de-iced and then heading out to New York. It'll probably be about a 15 minute um, time frame before this aircraft does depart, but there actually is a separate taxiway that I did show that is strictly used for de-icing at the airport, so I did implement that into my model airport. And on the private jet pad, we do have this blank 757-200 operated by the U.S. Air Force. This will be departing for a flight out to Eagle Vale which is another popular ski town to go to. That does conclude this airport update of Jackson Hole Airport. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy the video, please consider leaving a like on the video as well as subscribing to the channel so you can see more of my replica airports. I am hoping the next replica airport I will be doing is Denver International Airport. If you have been following me, you do know that I have been working very hard on that airport and do hope to have it done by February, maybe March. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you and have a good rest of your day or night. Goodbye.